Hello, I'm the Bowmeister, and welcome back to more Revelations Persona. Today, we're diving through that door. Um, I'm gonna switch <clears throat> something up real quick here. Uh, manual. We're just gonna switch you two. You'll see why here in a second, I think. Place this form here. If I if I just need if I need to, I'll just switch them around. <clears throat> Excuse me. Not a big deal. And then I should probably let's go ahead and get let's get Mary. Whoops. I don't want to cast. <clears throat> yes, it's part of me, folks, for for clearing my throat. It's early. We're gonna change your persona. <coughs> We're gonna give you Dava just because I'm gonna want another healer. I think. But let's dive in, shall we? What lies behind the door? A face. What the hell is this? I'm not gonna lie, that's kinda disturbing! <laughs> Very disturbing. Yeah, everyone should be like, what the? <clears throat> is this also me? This is Pandora. Look, behind the creature. Is that the heart of the Deva system? So finally, you've made it here. I finally found the gate to paradise. I won't let anyone have it. <clears throat> I'm going to make my world my own world with this. A world where nothing exists. No, that's not the gate to paradise. That's Pandora's box. It contains all the evil within. Everything has been wasted. Your existence means nothing. Waste shouldn't exist. Be gone! Vanish! Psst. Ah, yeah. Here we go. We should all die together. Level 85. Pandora. <clears throat> well... Guide said we should use these, so we're going to go ahead and do so, except for you. You're going to do a defense up. <clears throat> yeah, we're going to defense up, and then you'll go to gun form right now. Petrify? Doesn't connect. Want some? All right. <clears throat> yeah. So right now, we're just gonna attack with gun. Guns seem to be doing a lot of damage, and with the multiple hits from a lot of the guys, you know, Bodry might be not doing a lot of damage, but he did just do a hundred, hundred plus right there. So you're like right now we're we're doing an intense amount of damage. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> yeah, as long as everyone's getting all their shots off. Like that was three three shots at almost 100, 160 almost. Or over 160. Devil smile! Paralyzed. Alright, cool. That's not. That's actually not too terrible. We can handle that. Uh, oh, yeah, it's forgotten. You are paralyzed. 
I can take care of that. Oh, they're going with their own defense up. Okay. Okay, I see you. <laughs> Excuse me. All right, we're, I mean, we're just going to keep going. You know, defense up. <laughs> just means this battle will take a little bit longer. 58's not bad. Petrify! Mary. Mary's petrified. Okay. Again, not a big deal. <clears throat> just means we lose out on a turn of healer. Or we just lose out on a turn on an attacker, but. Uh, oh, shoot. I don't have any more Parastones. I have. Uh, uh oh. I'm oh, not. Should have stocked up on D Stone when I was last at the shop several episodes ago. <clears throat> oh, nice. Just because that's the only one I can. <coughs> uh oh, strength up. It's gonna. It's gonna hit hard when it hits. When it actually does damage. That is. There we go. Oh, 40. Two shots, 40. Not bad. <clears throat> but it's doing strength with it. Again. Okay. It's this one's just gonna be a chip fight, ladies and gentlemen. That's right. She can't. She can't shoot with gun. Because she her gun is in a weird Her gun's in a very weird range spot. <clears throat> 60. That was it. She just hit with 60. 108! Is that a f Oh, that was just one. I thought we had a Form change, as it were. We're getting, I mean, we're getting there slowly. 34. Again, I mean, essentially this battle is nothing more than chip. Uh, chipping the musical because that's uh, what we are doing. We're just we're chipping away at it. I have to say, <clears throat> don't get, don't petrify, don't petrify, don't petrify, don't petrify because I can't heal it. Okay. Or I can. I think I've got one more, but. I want to try and save it if I can. Or. <clears throat> You know what? We'll we'll sacrifice. Uh... That's also part of the reason why I have. Uh... Uh, I changed Mary's uh, persona. Oh, did we get it? We did. Ah. Wow! It's beautiful! Please give up. Please. Now loading. For round two. Welcome to the other fight! This is the other... This is the second form fight! Let's go. Let's let's just start swinging. She does a little more damage though. 
Yeah, Bodri just got hit hard. Oh, 130. <clears throat> Not chubby. All right. So first things first. Yeah, no, we're going to do this. Uh, you are going to use a life orb on Bodri. She can live, of course. You, you, and you. All right, let's just assuming everyone lives. <laughs> that is most certainly a nope. I mean, he's doing 133, so we're not in too bad shape. We just have to uh, bring everybody back. Uh, revive more, though. I will revive Nate. I also like the fact that her glacier just... Alright, she's using a wing flap. Seven. Okay, cool. That gives me a chance to change Bodri out. Uh, change your uh, personas out for Brodri. I'll probably change Nate's too, just so I don't have them uh, getting annihilated by Glacier. Yeah, so we're going to do a persona change. Let's try Hive. Uh, let's try you. Your persona changing as well. Let's switch to Azrael here. And then we'll use you to heal again. So, persona of change! Okay, so now let's see how much damage she does to these guys, assuming she does her glacier attack. <laughs> Alright, cool. Well, she hits. Mark for 112! Oh, she's not even using glacier this time. She's wing flapping. She's wing flapping Mark, which is a good strategy on her, because Mark does apparently the most damage. course, because she's currently, like, in the middle of everything. Uh, you have wing flap. Well, let's get a strength up on some people, shall we? Nah. 109 helps! Yep, wing flap on Mark. Alright, Glacier all, let's see... Still does a bunch of damage to Bodri, but not nearly as much! <laughs> He's not dead in one hit. Ooh, nice. Two swings on the 204. Yep. Perfect. Alright. So, Mary will switch to Healer Roll just because she is a little bit faster for this turn. Yeah, 205 with that strength up. That's actually handy. And heck, if I really feel in froggy, I might put bread on defense up so we can at least take a little bit of... at least have a little bit of extra uh, defense here. Yeah, so I might uh, put bread on to defense up this next turn. Changed her hair color. According to the guide, changes her hair color. She changes her persona. Uh, we're gonna bless. Well, actually, hang on. Let's see what bless does. Bless restores temporary condition. No persona range. Oh dang it. So yeah, we'll. 
So we'll fire attack there. You will just sword again. So everyone, everyone what Brad is there. I'll try darkness. Uh, we'll do quake. And then I'm gonna use you to defense up. Hey, just, in just in case she hits me with anything. <clears throat> Yeah, 26 compared to like the 80 something she was doing. All guard. And defense up. Okay, so she's definitely buffered herself. We'll see what all guard all guard does. I did nothing. All guard did nothing. Okay. All guard helped protect against damage. Well, let's try Sonic. Uh, you do that. It's a sword attack, we'll still try it. So, quick! 103! Not chubby, actually. Not chubby at all. I mean, we gotta take what damage we can get, after all. We are. Uh, vastly under level compared to the boss level, but I wasn't gonna sit and do level 85s. Of course, changing her hair color changes her, uh... Oh, was it? Changing her hair color takes a turn. Still at 50 for judgment. That's not shabby. Six hundred and nine on heat wave. <coughs> Heal everybody. You, you, and you. Persona. Again, 609. Just in that last strike. I don't know why I wasn't using that before. That's <laughs> right. Fails. I think it's time for another strength up. Again, 121 is nothing to sneeze at. 225 then. Oh no, she changed her hair color. And uses all guard, which protects. No damage this turn from her, and no damage from us this turn. Either. It even missed. All right, so back to the personas. Uh, you? Yeah, let's actually check if. Um, Two fourteen. Okay. I'm actually gonna do this. I think. It's be uh. Da, da. One. Just flick in here. I'm just looking real quick to see if I, oh, I do. I have a spell rock I'm gonna use on Brad. Let's try it lighter this time. 
him. And... Where is Quake? And let's just... We'll increase our defense. No, of course she changed hair color again. Sea seal. Yeah, it's actually gonna heal her, I think, for some parts. And her, her AI doesn't uh, give it anything. Yeah, it's just healing her right now, so we gotta be really ultra careful. We're gonna have to use uh, Heat Wave again. Well, that didn't do anything this time. Sweet. Alright. Uh, so, yep, gun. We're still good there. Let me try using that the SP stone again on uh, Brad. It didn't seem like he did anything. Oh, yeah. They are. We're gonna try. No, we're gonna try Drago Spear and T Wave. No, the rocks just not giving us a whole lot of uh, SP. <laughs> And wing flap. One of the best things we can get right now. Die. That was gonna be so bad. I'm like, you're not in you're not in magic mode. Oh wow! That was 800 just with that! Holy crap! What I mean. A lot of this right now is trial and error. Uh, Mark's the only one that's really taking any damage. I mean, 94 is still nothing to sneeze at either. Glacier all. Rodri's frozen. That's fine. We'll, we can deal with frozen. Die. Take this. Heat wave. Again, gonna do an outstanding up to an 800 damage there. You wish. I don't know why I wasn't using Drago Spear before. That just eight did just did eight twenty four in damage. Oops, nope. Like I said, we'll worry about. We can just, you know, s that is nothing to worry about. It's just if she hits it again before we get healed. You're dead. Which we're saying she ju we just healed. <sighs> Again. Which again, I'm not too terribly worried about. Again, that was 822 off a of Drago Spear. That's two strikes of 400 plus a piece, and this one heat wave does about 800 damage. I'm still frozen. That's okay. Tell us which switches her hair color. We're gonna keep on this attack banner. And we'll just keep Bodri. No change, not a big deal. No, I'm not worried about no change. I'm gonna stay with uh, Brad Persona right now. We got her! Why don't you kids just give up? How can you be so strong? 
You should know why. We're not alone. Haha, <laughs> because we believe in ourselves. No one can live alone. When things get rough, just turn around. I'm right behind you. You and I are parts of the same Mary, a friend of everyone here. Enough is enough. Let's be one again. Thank you. Picked it up, Mary? She does. It's over. Yeah. Thank you, everyone. This is goodbye, but I'll never forget any of you. What do you mean? Goodbye? I'm just a shadow of Mary. I can't go with you, but it was really fun. Mary! This can't be happening! Damn! And flash! Of light as, we all, as they all disappear. Except for me. I've sent everyone back to the real world. Baudry, before I send you back, may I have a word with you? No. Thank you. Remember me from time to time, okay? Goodbye. I've always loved you. And out we go. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye, Baudry. Nothing more for me to say. You have found your way back to the world as it should be. The smile on your face is no longer a mask, but your true self. No longer do you have to fear when you encounter problems, troubles, or pain. Just ask yourself who you are. You now will be able to withstand any adversaries and conflicts that may arise in your life. Go now, into a bright and promising future. You have a face! Are you floating away, Philemon? No, you've turned into a statue. And now exploding into dozens of butterflies. Oh wow, look at that real serious escape. After the series of incidents, the town gained worldwide attention and now everything is back to normal. Come on. Sevek and the name Guido became internationally renowned. The name of the students who were involved never became known. Time has passed. Memories of the incident sank deep into their consciousness. The boys and girls who found their identities began to walk into the future. Not knowing what will happen. There we go. There's a digitally rendered school. And... I say our mysterious camera is moving into the school. Okay. <laughs> now loading. Oh, here he comes! Diaper Boy! Ha ha ha! Today is the last day you can call me that! Mark, I hear you don't like high places, and that one. And that you once pissed in your pants! What? What's up? You little. Who told you that? 
Haha, <laughs> your mom told me everything. And it was when you were in sixth grade, huh? That old bag. Shut the heck up, Brad. At least it's not as bad as pooping in your pants in middle school. Ha ha ha. That's not much difference between the sixth and seventh grade. Just check it out. You're going to piss in your pants again anyway. Losers. Where do, we, where do they think we are? Oh, my head. It aches. Oh, hey, guys. Hey, guys. Did you wait? What happened? Why is everyone laughing? Mary, Bodry, you guys came at the right time. Mark said he can't wait to ride Dropout. That's cool. Let's get going. Brad, mother... Aha. What's wrong? Selena and everyone's, everyone else is waiting outside. Come on. So there goes Mary. Brad, you better watch your back. Goes Mark. Haha, whatever. This is going to be fun. But, doesn't Mary look like a whole new person? Hmm. Pandora. What's up? You're still thinking about that? Dude, just forget it. I just remembered the last thing that Pandora left behind. Anyway, we should get going now, Baudry. Hey, wait up! Yo, wait up! Hurry up, Baudry! Now we go. Meanwhile... Last picture. And... Are we rolling credits? Mary! With her sickness cured, Mary has now become a mature young lady. She has won many art awards and good things are happening in her life. She's happy with her mother now and has a new boyfriend. Yes. <clears throat> Excuse me. At least I'm pretty sure it's us. At this point. Go, Mary. Okay. I wasn't sure if I had to press X or not. We got... Mark! Mark went to New York to study art. His avant-garde style. Avant-garde style and art has won acclaim with the critics, and he's having the time of his life. Cool, so we got para-artist, actually. I wonder if everyone's gonna have something to be or some association with art. My phone goes ping. Nate! In disguise, Nate lands a job in one of the companies his family owns. He finds out firsthand how cruel the business world can be. His arrogance from the past is now turned into compassion for all people. I hope he gets rid of that stupid number one neckerchief thing. As he gets older, because that just looks ridiculous. Oh look, and we're also listening to the hymn. Hymn of the Soul, I believe it's called. Brad is now a TV show talk host, or talk show host. He has a newfound openness when he talks about his past to his viewers. In all this glamour, though, he still never forgets to check in on his friend Mark, and they spelled viewers wrong. That's gonna bug me. <laughs> like, it's one thing to mistranslate, it's another thing entirely when the English translation is spelled incorrectly. And then there's us. How he came to be. Well, that's up for you to decide. As we listen to the hymn of the soul. I think it's what that's Is that what that song's actually called? Uh, 
Yes, this is him. Of, this is the earliest version of him of the soul. At least that I know of. I haven't played any of the early or any of the other Shimagami Tensei games. But yes, that is the credits. We are finally finished with Revelations Persona. Look at that, folks. As we do the slow roll through the credits, I want to thank you so much for joining me on this journey here. I'm going to write stuff down as we go here. And yes, we will... Yeah, like I said, I'm trying to write stuff down here. So, what's going to happen? Now, normally, what I've been do what I've done in the past, uh, especially when I've do been doing the multi-game uh, block sec sections, is that I would wait till the next month to start the game. However, since my since my personal life has changed a little bit, and where I work has changed, what's going to happen now is that I'm going to immediately dive into the next game. Uh, at the time of this recording, I should be off of work uh, for the season. I work in a touristy. I work actually in a, on a national mon or at a national monument, um, part of a nonprofit group. And at the time of this, at the time of this releasing, which is New Year, uh, the day before New Year's Eve, um, I should be off work. Should be. We'll see how the season goes. If I keep doing the numbers I have been doing as of today's recording batch, which is the early November. Um, you know, getting through and be like, hey, yeah, no, I am uh, all the way through this. Let's do this kind of thing. You know, whatever I get planned through, I'm done. We'll go, I'm going for it. There lies the problem. When I get to, uh... So when I finish a game in the middle of the month, I'm gonna have to start the next game immediately just so I can get going. On that. So, tomorrow... You guys are gonna be getting a brand new game. What Essentially, what that whole ramble was, was me saying... Instead of starting a new game in, a, in the new month, and in this case, a new year, it's just going to roll over to the next recording batch. So, tomorrow, on New Year's Eve, you guys will start, we'll get the first episode of Dragon Quest 2. Yes, that's correct. Dragon Quest 2 is the first game, or is the next RPG on the channel. Uh, I need to remember to update my book because I have to update my book. Kokito Ergosum. Descartes. Descartes? I can't remember how, how his name is pronounced. Kokito Ergosum. Cognition something, I think. I think that's, a, I think that's what that, that's pronounced out to. Like I said, we did it. We completed the game. Do I need to press the button or is it gonna let me sit? We're gonna let it sit here for a couple seconds. Oh! Finn. Or Fien. For finished. I assume it's gonna let me go. But yeah, nope, Dragon Quest 2 is going to be next on the list. We're going to have a lot of fun going, diving back into the Dragon Quest universe. Because if, if I remember it, the first three games are a progression. They are a part of a trilogy in, of sorts. Are we, can I go? Or are you just going to sit on that screen? Fun. Fun. Anyway, I mean, that's good enough place to leave it for the recording. Thank you so much for watching.
And tomorrow, it's Dragon Quest 2. But until then, I am the Bowmeister. And as always, I have been obediently yours. <laughs>